In this video, we're going to have a look at the forecast and management reports in Jira. It's very important for a project manager to be able to keep track of uh, the Jira issues, especially since if you have a bigger project, you will have a lot of epics, stories, issues, tasks, and it always comes in handy to be able to report on those, to be able to see are we on track or are we not on track. So these three reports here are I would say invaluable for a project manager when using Jira. Let's see why. The first one, time tracking report. So this one, we have a couple of options. We can either do it on project level or do it on version level. Let's do it on version level. And what it will show us, it will show us all of the items um, that belong to that release in our case and it will show us the values for the original estimate, the time spent, and the remaining estimate. So we can see if we are on track or not. Let's do some small changes here. So we have here a task that we will want to use and let's add for that an original estimate and also see how we can change the estimation. So let's do that, test to use. So we need to go into the edit and we have the fields original estimate. This field here are usually filled when doing the sprint planning. You do estimations and you can fill those fields. So let's add here eight hours. Click on update. And as you can see in this right section, we have an update. So we have the estimation. I think we put eight days, not eight hours. Okay, that's not bad. We can change it. <laughs> we have the remaining and nothing was locked. So let's just lock something. In order to lock some work, we do lock work. And let's say we actually spent seven days on this one. Let's see, we are almost finished. We log the work and as you can see here, the estimation, the original estimation remains. The remainder is one day because we have logged seven days. Let's go back to the report and we can press configure and just create it again. And in our task to use, we have the original estimation, we have the one day remaining of the time and we have the time spent here. In case, for example, we would have a task like this task 12, where, of course, it's, well, it's a little bit of a hack here, but let's say we estimated um, one hour. So that would make us over the actual estimation. So that is also shown here. Uh, we can, if desired, also export this whole table into Excel and then work with that whole table in Excel. So to add extra formulas, make some filters, um, whatever you want to do with it uh, in Excel, you can do. Let's have a look at the other reports. Another important report is the user workload report. What this does is show us how many items um, a specific Jira user has assigned to him or she at the moment. So this is very good in order to prevent having user workload being too much. It's always good to give good developers a lot to do, but if you give them too much to do, then it's counterproductive. So let's see what our two developers have at the moment. So developer number one, well, he has nothing. Okay, so he may need to, to receive some tasks. And developer number two. Hmm, he also has nothing. Okay, let's see our REST user. Okay, he has four issues assigned. So maybe it's a good idea to take some issues from this user here and give them to the other developers. 
And the last one which uh, I want to show you, the last one which we're going to see, is the version workload report. And this is similar to what we saw before, um, but it's really version specific. It shows the times estimated for all the unresolved issues uh, for the version by user and issue. So this one, I would say in combination uh, with the user workload report would be able to give you more or less in our case, the same result. So we see we have actually only one user who's doing all the work for this version. And in this case, it would not even be necessary to create the user workload report. We have all the other information here with um, which we need to be able to see, okay, um, how, what, how we are, how are we doing in the, in this version? Are we on track? Do we need to add extra resources? Do we need to postpone the release and so forth? Okay, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.